Stretching the same muscles you're working out will increase your risk of injury and reduce strength potential, making it a terrible thing to do. Let's talk about a smarter and safer way to combine stretching with strength training. Stretching and strength training send very different signals through the nervous system to the muscles. Stretching, you're sending a signal to the muscles to completely relax, whereas when you're lifting, you're sending a signal for the muscles to contract. This is why stretching as a warm-up to strength training is a terrible idea. It will decrease your strength potential and it also increases your injury risk, which is why you shouldn't stretch the same muscles that you're strength training during the same workout. So if you're doing a chest workout, don't stretch your chest between sets. Doing so will dramatically increase your risk of injury and it's going to reduce your strength potential for the next set. Most studies have found an acute decrease in strength following stretching. In the unified movement system that I teach, aka the UMS, we program upper body strength training with lower body flexibility and vice versa to mitigate this. Now at the end of your workout, you can stretch any muscles you want. So the only real consideration that you need at the end of your workout is basic load management and rest and recovery. So as long as all of your strength training, all of your resistance training sets are finished, then you can go and stretch the same muscle groups or you can stretch other muscle groups. It just depends on how much time you've got because you really want to focus on your core workout, getting your strength training and your flexibility done. But then if you've got time at the end and you want to say, for example, you want to get more flexibility in your chest and you've just done a chest workout, you can do that. Just make sure that you're programming intelligently so that you're not just hitting those same muscle groups every single day. You still want to be considering rest and recovery for flexibility training. And for a really good overview of going from beginner to advanced flexibility, you can check out that video there. Just click or tap the screen to watch it. Make sure you grab the flexibility blueprint. It's free. Just click that link to download it.